again, everybody. Welcome to the third installment, third episode of Blooms For You, where I dedicate my blooms to my subscribers as and when they bloom. So, with all that blooming out of the way, let's look at this blooming and ignore the state of the plant. However, for all my subscribers not mentioned here today, your time will come, I promise you. In the meantime, this is going to probably be the last flush of a blooming that I have that has an abundance of flowers to dedicate to all my subscribers. So I did want to include my Dendrobium nobili. Just one more time, because although she looks a little bit scraggy on the top, she certainly has outperformed herself this year with all these blooms around the base. So I hope that you will enjoy the third series and uh, I'm still on the hunt for more buds and blooms as we move along. Thank you everybody so much for your support and let me know in the comments below if you approve of my choices when I've picked your name. So let's get started with episode three, Blooms for You. Girl, you're like liquor by over. So, who would I be referring to if I say that? Well, let's try another phrase. Cheese on bread, she looking fine. This is Epidendrum Stamfordianum, Nibica Hope. And I hope that what I just said actually applies. But if I say cheese on bread, she looking fine regarding my Epidendrum Stamfordianum, then if my Barbados dialect doesn't fail me, that means wow. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but let me dedicate this bloom spike to you as a thank you for being a subscriber to my channel. And I hope that you like her. Even though she's been blooming for so, so long, her blooms are still cheese on bread. So thank you very much, Nubika. Stay safe. I gone. If I hold this up close enough, Terry. Terry from TD more than just orchids. Guess what this is? This is Eria Hyacinthoides. After two years of not blooming, it has finally decided to forgive me for whatever I was doing wrong. And now it's blooming and I'm going to dedicate these beautiful, cute little blooms to you while you wait for yours to bloom again. They are just adorable. So uh, yes, I did not wait for the last spike to open. If I remember correctly, when it bloomed last time, my blooms were not long lasting. And that's why I wanted to take care of the filming now so that at least we can appreciate a little bit of the blooms if the wind would stop. I hope that you like this little area until yours blooms for you again. These are for you, Terry. Thank you so much for your wonderful comments in my channel. Diane and Orchids at Victor's Harbor. I hope you like this Epicatlea Rene Marquez crossed with Demerandra Emarginata. I've been waiting for these to open for a while with your name tagged on the buds so that I could dedicate this beautiful spike to you and say thank you so very much for your support on my channel. I apologize for all the background noise. I hope that you can still hear what I'm trying to say because it's important to me that you know how grateful I am for your support and that you 
comment such encouraging comments in my section allowing me to feel like I'm not doing it all wrong <laughs> but look at these beautiful blooms I think they're absolutely divine with their pink blush on the petals and sepals you can clearly see the Rene Marquez in there there is no fragrance unfortunately but I sincerely hope that you like the choice I made for you so Diane thank you so very much and I sincerely hope that all is well at Victor's Harbor cherry colors yes in more ways than one this is for you cherry colors and can you tell me if you know why I spoke, chose this specific cutest little mini fell to say thank you to you personally for I mean don't these colors just equal cheery colors I think they are absolutely perfect to say thank you to you for subscribing for your comments and for your gorgeous channel with such a positive cheery attitude absolutely gorgeous so I hope that you like my choice as a thank you to spikes on the little mini phalaenopsis that is known as unicorn in our home this is for you cheery colors thank you so very very much for your support The next flush of buds on my Encyclia Graciana Alba has opened. And I did an up close and personal video on this orchid. And somebody who jumped onto my channel as a subscriber in the very, very beginning, and I so want to thank you for that orchid garden. And for that reason, I want to dedicate this blooming to you because on my up close and personal video, you mentioned how much you love encyclias. So the new buds and all the other ones that are holding on, super fragrant. I dedicate these blooms to you as a thank you for being there from Jump Street and for all your support and enthusiasm regarding my channel. Thank you very much, Orchid Garden. I'll see you soon. Buenos días, Marisol, del canal de YouTube de Orquídeas en el Mundo. Yo no creo que, que me conoces, pero yo estuve siguiendo tu canal desde hace muchos años. Y me encanta muchísimo toda la información sobre el mundo de las orquídeas y plantas en general. Así que, en mi serie, Blooms for You, quiero dedicarte como muchas gracias por todo lo que haces para la comunidad de orquídeas. Este epicatlea René Marqués que está cruzado con Brazabola Digviana. Este no tiene fragancia, pero es muy, muy precioso. Y yo quiero dedicar estos flores a ti. I'm just going to quickly just translate this for anybody who doesn't speak Spanish. There's a gorgeous uh, lady out there with a YouTube channel called Orchids of the World. She does several plants as well. And uh, mainly she has her channel all in Spanish. That's why I wanted to dedicate these flowers to her and speak Spanish in honor of the fact that she speaks mainly Spanish on her channel. But if you don't know the channel and you speak Spanish, you want to have a look. Marisol, fabulous hostess on her channel Orchids of the World. Así que Marisol, espero que te guste. A ver si un día veas este video. Porque estos flores son para ti. Christine, 
and that would be Christine Norton. This is Dendrobium tetragonum, variety Giganteum. And I have decided, while I was watching this second flush of this year, these blooms are for you. It is not my Phalaenopsis unicorn, which you did enjoy in my other videos, but I hope that you like them anyway. I find them so amazing, so intricate and full of detail. And let me tell you what they smell like now. They used to smell like aluminum being cut on a building site. Yes, just like that. So this is my third blooming and the second one of this year. We still have some more to come up here before it decides to bring out some new growth. But now they smell like Aluminum being cut on a building site, but with jasmine. <laughs> and the jasmine in my background has actually stopped blooming, so that is what the fragrance is now. It is not unpleasant. You'd be surprised, it is not unpleasant. So, Christine, thank you so very, very much for being so open and welcoming to the, this side of YouTube as a channel and not a commentator and these blooms are for you and I sincerely hope I didn't disappoint you with my choice. Thank you Christine. Take care and stay safe. Thank you so much everybody for watching, for your support. I hope you enjoyed this installment and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.